Hey Pisces, let's do your reading real quick. How are you guys? I hope you're well. I'm sorry I've been gone. I was so sick, so sick. Like I think the sickest I've ever been. I had um, all the symptoms of, you know, COVID <clears throat> and I tested positive for the flu. So it looks like I had both. Crazy. Okay, so let's just see what's coming out in the pre-shuffle. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. I like it. <clears throat> see what's going on. I want to pull one, see if we get one for the person on your mind. Pisces. <clears throat> Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So this kind of gives me the feeling that some of you guys are trying to rush to know where it's going and if it's gonna, you know, be forever, um, the level of relationship it is, rather than just enjoying the process, you know, the getting to know each other part or the getting back together part. I don't know why I said getting back together, surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Okay. Let's pull some romance. These aren't romance angels, these are the other one. What is it? Um, Angel answers. The answer is no. Hmm. So whatever you asked. And another no. Wow. I would say that's a strong no. <laughs> Excuse me for coughing on camera. All right. Let's look at the person that you're dealing with, the person or situation on your mind. Let's get that current energy. Whoops. Okay. Okay, look at that. They feel conflicted. There's conflict here in the strength card. The strength card is about holding back, taking action. This person is holding back. They may be mad. This person mad at you? Look at that. They're avoiding conflict. Wow, big time. They feel conflict. Um, but, you know, some people don't want to deal with conflict. I don't like to deal with conflict to the, it used to be to, the, well, still probably to the degree that I would let it get worse. So some people really feel like there's no win and they just avoid conflict and this is what's holding them back. They are, if you're wondering why this person is avoiding you, it's because they don't want to have the necessarily, the necessary communication and conversation that needs to happen to resolve this. So extremely avoid it. That's their current energy. How do they feel towards you, Pisces? This may not be somebody that's good for you because you are somebody who likes to communicate and likes to, you know, the, the thing is when you talk through things, you get closer, you bond, right? Um, and that's just kind of like, seems like that's what I'm picking up is who you are. But this person, you know, you may need somebody that communicates better. Um, Okay, so Ace of Cups. Hmm. The Ace of Cups is, you know, a new beginning in love. It looks like they, they're avoidant. This person is the kind of person that, even when things should be okay, they still hold that grudge, I think. I don't remember what I asked. I'm going to put these back and ask, um, I'm not sure, but let's remember those, but I, I think I asked, how do they view the situation? Did I? Okay, let's do, how do we, how do they view the situation? Oh, there's a lot of um, information about, yeah, they're avoiding conversation. This person just doesn't want to argue. They're avoidant. They won't, aren't willing to work through conflict. I just don't think that's a good match for you. You're all about truth and um, expressing how you feel, feelings, deepening the bond. Jeez. Um, what are their next actions towards you? Hmm, the sun. They're, pro they're probably going to come back and just act like nothing ever happened. But and, and, you know, you can go round and round on that, but you don't deepen. If things don't get worked out. 
I think um, some in some situations, some things that maybe that might work, but overall, if this is the tendency, then think, then stuff festers, you know, and then resentment builds. That's not good either. Okay, this Empress has come out twice. So let's see, what's the Empress about? Hmm. Knowing you deserve love. It's also self-love. Maybe redirect the sad feelings that you're feeling onto yourself. What can you do for yourself? Write down a list of what you is important to you and the things that make you feel good, things that you would want in a, in a relationship, you know, communication and um, feeling important and quality time and um, words of affirmation, just the things that are important to you. I think it'd be good to make a list and two things that can come from that. You make a list of the things that are important to you. You can also make it next to it. You can write a list of the things that these, this person does offer you and then kind of do some playing with it. And then on the third column, you could do, you know, make a list, like comparatively, what are these things that are important to you? Do you give yourself? And maybe that can help you redirect some of this love that you're giving to someone that's not and appreciating it, you can kind of see things a little differently and redirect that for yourself. Um, did I ask next actions? Uh, that might have been next. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like after being sick, my brain is just not. It's like ADD overload. So let's just go ahead and ask it again. This might have been next actions. Is that they're avoiding conversation? <clears throat> but let's ask it again. What are their next actions for you, towards you? Well, look, that looks good. Uh, uh, stable new beginning. Yeah, look, coming in. So interesting. They are going to want to come in. But you know why, I bet? It's because... Hold on one second. It's because they see you valuing yourself. Come on. So we teach people our value by how we value ourselves. If we let somebody treat us bad, if we um, accept half apologies or let things go under the rug without being addressed, we kind of teach people how to treat us. So I think that's why and when this is going to come back around. It's once this person sees that you're willing to leave them out in the cold. You don't need them. You're not going to settle. That's probably, okay, this page of swords keeps coming out. That's when um, this person is going to start getting curious about what's going on with you, see your value, and then start acting accordingly. I'm not sure about the death card. Why did the death card come out? I think they're going to have to really see that you're willing to let it go. Let them go. And you can want them all day, all day, every day. You can want them, but you got to be willing to let it go at the same time. Look at that. That's when you get your foundation, your happiness, your two cups. I'm not sure it could be someone new. You may end up having to juggle this person, but this person does want to come back. <clears throat> they just don't want to have to deal with the fight that needs to happen or the conversation that needs to happen. They're just avoidant. They are avoidant. They, um, they don't let go. They don't let go, but they don't give either. Pisces, have you been the only one carrying this whole this whole situation? Are you the one making it work? Are you the one doing all the um, initiating and the complimenting? I want you to do the list. Ask yourself, what do you get from this and what do you want? What do they give you? What Your list is, what do you want in a relationship? What's important to you? You know, what are your boundaries? And the or what's important to you that you get out of it, right? What are your needs? And then make a list of what they actually give you. What do they give you? How do they make you feel good? Write it down. Let's write it down in the comments. Yeah, they definitely want to come in. It's unexpected, too. This person might be a gifty. They might give you gifts to make it up. Well, I don't know. Let's see. What's the King of Pentacles? Why do they keep getting in? This is coming across a lot in a lot of the signs. Hmm. 
You know um, what it looks like is this person, they don't want to feel their, it's like they don't, they don't care enough about your pain or when you're sad or you're feeling left out in the cold, but it's like it takes them feeling it before they respond, before they do anything about it. I want to see what else is coming for you. Let's see. Besides this person, <clears throat> what else is coming? Pisces. I'm getting a lot of unexpected return energy. Wow, the lovers. A decision. So it's like I said, you're, okay, a decision to put yourself first, right? Nine of cups, self-love, self-nurturing, self-care. That's going to take a strong decision. It's going to be like, you know, no matter what, I'm going to make time for myself. I'm, I'm going to, some, if, if something has to fall behind, it's not going to be my self-care, right? It's not going to be my workout or my eating healthy or this or that. It's going to, that's going to be something that I make a firm decision. That's what I'm going to work on. And I really think journaling, we need to start journaling together. But you need to be very crystal clear about what you want. Make a decision about what you want and then what you're going to do to get those things. And if holding on to somebody that doesn't give you those things, be aware that that's going to fall. That's going to hold you back from getting it. Why would you hold on to somebody that's not giving you what you want, right? Kind of, it's just kind of basic. But what's coming for um, Pisces besides this person? I already know. It's a new person. Ten of Cups, somebody that loves you unconditionally with flaws you don't have to pretend and sees you as very valuable sees you as their ten of cups it was I was feeling it before it showed that is you're the one you're the only one see the three cups in reverse I like it you've got somebody coming in fast I hope you see this because it's all going to be a matter of they're going to treat you the way you treat yourself they're going to treat you according to how you value yourself. They're going to value you according to how you value yourself. So you're going to have to make a firm decision to put yourself first. And it doesn't mean be a narcissist and only care about yourself. It means that you don't abandon yourself. If somebody is avoidant and dismissing your needs and your, you know, uh, uh, something that was done, uh, an upset and not willing to talk through it, then maybe communicating that that's important to you is um, what's going to you know need to happen. But I, I strongly think make a list. You can use the, the notes as a, a place to journal also, you know. I love you guys so much. Bye, Pisces.